Hi everyone, I'm Nina. Hi, I'm Rebecca. We're here today to share Waffle Flowers November release. Before we get started on the new release, we have some newly updated stamps and dies to share with you. First up, we have the Santa Tags die. The Santa Tags die was the combination of three of our previous releases, including the Surface Tag die, the Surface Tag Scallop add-on, and the Surface Tag Santa add-on. The only thing different is that I removed the inverted scallop edges, and it's named Santa Tax Die because all of these amazing Santa tags you can make. Even a pajama tag for grandpa. We have a dedicated video showing you how to make those Santa tags, and you can click on the link on the screen now or find the link below in the description. And we have the Surface Tag Stamp Set that coordinates with all the dies for you to quickly add color to your project. Next is the matching dies for the Hocus Pocus stamp set. Now they're on magnetic sheets with each pieces already separated. I love that. We've upgraded the die for Pawson earlier this year, and now the stamps have been upgraded with a new packaging. And finally, the matching die for the popular Big Bear and Bird is upgraded in the new packaging. And we have made a little change to the die so that the die that cuts out the florals will be one die so you don't have to cut them separately. Last but not least is the paper cut alpha die. We have so many requests for us to bring them back, so there you have it. I hope you enjoy our newly upgraded stamps and dies. Next up is our creative bundle for November. The first set in our creative bundle is the Mary Wreath stamp set with matching dies. This is the builder stamp set with three layers for a width and two layers for each of the foxes and some fun elements for Christmas. Here's the width image. And for me, there's a trick for lining them up is the four little circles right here on the first width, four circles here on the, on the berries, and then this one long opening right here for the pine needles. Here's the cute fox stamped in two layers. I can stamp the fox with the brown and then the scarf in any color that I want. The matching die will cut out the foxes with the shape of the scarf around it. So if you want, you could cut it out like that and then add whatever scarf pattern you want for the fox. We have several options for each fox. And that cute little cup is just precious. So I added the lander to help us create a seam. Here's how the ladder cuts out with the stamped lines and without the stamped lines. Let's see some samples from the design team. Here are the two cards I made. I just love the look of having this fox behind the waist. So you can end the boat or without the boat and have the other fox like kind of handing him the hot cocoa. This fireplace die is also in our release that we'll cover later. I love how Kiwe has the fox putting the bow at the top of the wreath. I love how JJ created a kissing under the mistletoe scene on her card. I created two versions of basically the same card to show that you can use more traditional colors or fun modern twist. I love that you cut out the sentiments to make it into a banner so it looks like the foxes are trying to put the banner over to decorate their house. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. And the cool backgrounds are made from another die we have in our creative bundle. That's the herringbone panel die. The herringbone panel die cuts out a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel with stitched lines on the outside and a nice place in the center that you can stamp a sentiment. And JJ designed the herringbone sentiment to go in the diamond shape, either vertically or horizontally. I used the herringbone panel die to cut the top of this shaker card and then stamped in heat embossed the merry and bright from the sentiment set. Anna used the herringbone panel die as a stencil for her background. I love how Alex ink blended hers and created an ombre look on top of her herringbone panel. Here's another example of Shannon overlapping the herringbone panel die. You're not limited to bold and graphic with the herringbone panel die. You can make it really cute by adding critters too. Last but not least is the rainbow thank you die. This is an innovative die designed by JJ Bolton for those bold and graphic lovers. First, I cuts out all the lasting shapes. With the other three dies, cuts out the mat for all the layers. Here's how they look like. 
Here's what it looks like with all the layers cut out by the first die. And I'm using the biggest matte die for the base for all the lasting layers. JJ has designed it to make it so easy. You can choose to leave or keep any of the layers for a different look. You can use the letters on their own too. My favorite is a small map with the word die cut out. Just make a beautiful sentiment. Or pair it with the second medium mat and some other layers for another cool look. I just love it. What I love about the die with all the layers is that you can cut it out multiple times from multiple colors of cardstock and just have fun creating a rainbow. Here are some super cute rainbow cards Shannon made using the rainbow thank you die. I love how JJ backed hers with the micro grid panel 2 die. I love the scattered colorful dots. Here's another one that JJ stacked them on top of each other and you can see the rainbows on the sides. So cute. That's it for our creative bundle for November. Next is our floral bundle for November. For this month's floral bundle, we have a simple floral stamp set with matching dies, which is Sunflower Love, and we have a sentiment stamp set with matching dies, which is Simply Said One. These two sets are designed to go with each other because the, the labels in the Simply Set labels are the exactly same size as the one you have on the Sunflower Love stamp set. I love the big gorgeous petals in the Sunflower Love stamp set. Uh, you can use this one with the label um, as it is on the stamp set or turning 180 degrees on the side or 90 degrees on that side. You know, just different ways you can use the label. They're so cute, big and beautiful. We have the matching stamps for all the sentiments in the Simply Set labels, so you can cut them out and add to whatever card you're making for a bold look. I think the script font is absolutely gorgeous too. I used the corner shape to be my background and stamp the sentiment on top. I just love the look. And adhere them to card with some foam dots for a dimensional look. I love how you can use any color to stamp your flowers. It comes out so pretty and you don't even have to color it in. There's so many details to the stamp. But if you do love coloring things in, this is a really fun stamp set to work with. I had so much fun coloring with Copic markers. Such gorgeous colors. Thank you. I love how Kiwi created such beautiful blending and shading of her flowers and the simple craft background with spritzes of white is very pretty. And the background key we used is our diamond texture die released earlier this year. I love the bright sunny colors that Alex used and the pretty ink blending she did in the background. I love how Shannon created a very cool graphic background just use the label itself. You can pair these pretty sentiments with critters too like JJ did here. So cute. That's it for our floral bundle for November. We hope you have tons of fun with it. Last but not least is our whimsical bundle. We have the Blessed Bear stamp set with matching dies, Winter Hamster stamp set and matching dies, plus the Cozy Cabin die, which is great for scene building. I love every image in this stamp set from the bear with his big belly and flowy scarf to the little hedgehogs and the leaves and feathers all create such a sweet scene. And here's how the die cuts out the little pieces. I love the big and open scarf on the bear so you can put all kinds of pattern in there or paper piecing. I did mine in the plaid pattern and I love how Alex made a polka dot pattern. And I just created a big red scarf. You have a nice guy kind of slowly seeing on your card and I create a sleeve flowing around kind of for same. I like how you have different options for the same images. I really love how this is such a blustery scene with the leaves flowing around, so of course he would be carrying an umbrella. We did something different on the matching die for the winter hamsters. If you look closely, the hamsters are grouped together as one stamp. So these three are in one stamp, these four are in one stamp, and all the accessories are one stamp. In this way, we can have the dies to be connected so that you stamp all the images at once, but you can cut them out individually so you can play with your scene. 
I also love that there are no teeny tiny little dies or stamps to lose in the I carpet. <laughs> They're such a pain. <laughs> you don't have to use all the hamsters together. You can pick and choose which ones you want to use. There are ones that are caroling, but there are also a couple that are sledding. And these guys look like they're just hanging out in front of these trees. And I used the Forescape panel die to create that background. Jenna adhered her cutouts with foam tape for added dimension. JJ used her hamsters in the place of O's for her ho 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 card. The background is our wave texture die released earlier this year. I love how Kiwi's scene makes it look like the little hamsters are in a snow globe. Here's another example of how easy it is to add cheerfulness using these hamsters. JJ designed the cozy cabin die specifically for these hamsters to help create cute little scenes. Such as these hamsters warming themselves in front of the fireplace. I love how the stockings are hung from the mantle as well. What a sweet couple on Shannon's card. How cute that she tucked the little candy canes into the stockings. You were really paying attention to the stockings. <laughs> <laughs> stockings are my favorite part of Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love how the cozy cabin die has everything you need to create an entire Christmas scene from the fireplace, the fire, the logs, the chimney, the windows, and the Christmas tree. Now let's talk about what this little die is. <laughs> so Rebecca used it as her curtains, but it was designed to be a banner so the two hamsters can hold and you can stamp your sentiment on top. But I love your idea. <laughs> the curtains are so cute. Thank you. And another thing about this die is you don't have to use it horizontally. You can use it vertically too. I just trimmed a piece of regular cardstock to mimic the ground for a more realistic look. That's it for our Whimsical Bundle. We hope you have as much fun as we did. Thank you for joining us today. That's all for our November release. If you're interested in purchasing all of the new products for this release, they are available in a bundle for 20% savings. We have more exciting products coming in a week, so we'll see you soon. Bye.